Hello, everyone. I was pretty mad uh, six years ago uh, when I started the company. I was third poor, and we started off now. We are a 60 people company, mostly engineering based internationally. We basically make 100% trash. Uh, we turn that into a sexy product that you actually want to buy. First of all, um, we do this technology called upcycling. If you know most of the trash that you have today, when you go recycling bin, it actually goes into incinerator. Actually, most of it actually did not go into a new product that you were willing to buy. So that's what we're trying to do for the last six years. So our company is called Minimize. Uh, basically, minimize, but you cannot have a company you start off by trying to sell something small. So we turn the M over to become Miniwis. Um, just show you a quick example of some of the building um, that we built recently, uh, two years ago, all made for 100% recycled PET. Um, all the lightings, the solar power, all the material, even the steel bones in this building are made from recycled steel. Um, actually, it's using a highway uh, concrete formwork to create that building. So a building like this, what does it do? It actually creates attention, awareness, right? And that's why uh, we are on a lot of national, me international media and where we can make a difference and to tell people, actually, I think it's so stupid that people are actually not using your trash material and turn that into a real products. But we know what the reason is. Um, what the reason is, is because the trash material that we have is not sexy. So here's a, where I slow down and I explain to you a little bit. When you're in the elevator, what do you do? When you go into the elevator, what's the first button you press? You press close. 99% of us press close. Why? That's not sustainable. Because we are using so much resources for you to go from one floor to the next. In reality, in order for you to be sustainable, when you have a control of the resources and the power, you're supposed to press open. You're supposed to wait for everyone to come in and share the resources. But we're not like that. Our DNA is not built like that, okay? People with power, people with resources do not like to share anything with you. So we decided, okay, let's trick the consumer. Since the power base of the rich and powerful our consumers. We have to trick the consumers. How to do that? It has, first of all, when do we press open? When someone sexy enter the elevator, right? So I want to be a devil's advocate. And I want to explain. That's why we have t-shirts like this. Uh, we have uh, this t-shirt called No Virgins, made from 100% trash material. No virgin material. Remember uh, Zoolander, there's this movie called Their Leak? Okay, it's made from trash. Okay, as long as the model is sexy, I think people will wear it. Then the other is when we are young, when I'm still a young person, but when I'm, a, I'm as a young person, you want to deal with a real issue that you can really devote your life to. Plastic, so much plastic problem, so much waste problem. It just gets worse and not in the developing nations. It's here in the developed world, okay? And the recycling rate is getting lower and lower and lower, not higher, relative to how much we're consuming. So we're just consuming more and more. The other is architecture problem. Look at all that building we're using. Touch the, um, the seats, touch your clothes, touch everything that you see here. It's all made from virgin material. Imagine we have 200 years of waste that's currently next to you. And you know, the, I don't even want to mention how much toxic material there's actually in it. When we talk about, um, all kinds of food problem, just think about architecture. So we want to deal with some real problems. So if you want to start a business, this is my business mentor, which is Zhao Xingqi, okay? But what he said about his uh, Ngao Yun, the only difference he said, I thought was very interesting, is about something has to be functional, which is true. Something has to be Xingqi, has to be new, innovative, okay? That I understand. But something has to be educational. Something has to be fun. Remember the ping pong scene that he was taking the ball and play the Ngao Yun? This is what we have to do. My company, what we are doing is we are making things fun. In order for it to be fun, we learn something. The consumer learns something. Us engineers learn something. Okay? So if, if something is not fun, we don't like to 
play. Something that's sexy, we don't want to buy. Okay? So this is what we're doing. Innovating in waste stream materials. Um, we, and we do everything. We do clothing all the way to uh, building products. And how do we do it? We have three technology we play with. Okay? We have one, it's called folding. Uh, I'm a structural engineer and architect, so folding into a geometric shape is one of our specialties. And the other is nanobonding. Okay, nanobonding in a chemical level, material level. The third is obviously working with the current manufacturing methods. Um, we have this pretty new thing that's coming out called rice cement. So you can go to the website called rice cement. We're making this thing called rice plastic, made from rice uh, husk, and we turn that into a, a bonding agent, adhesive, organic adhesive. We make B2B, B2C products. Okay, we made that into iPhone case, like the one I'm carrying now. We turn that into a sexy wine carrying case using trash to do that. We are doing building materials, sound barrier walls, um, shading systems. Um, we have lots of failed projects, including we're trying to get into the food market, which failed miserably. We did a boat, uh, a yacht. You know, everything has to be fun. So we do buildings um, that, like... I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to breeze through, and we make LED lights, merging with trash, make that very sexy. So people are like animals. They are attracted to sexy lights, right? So we have typical LED backlighted uh, ceiling um, lamps. We have uh, shading devices uh, for a typical ceiling panel, also made from recycled PP uh, and with rice. And... I just keep going. These are all current products, uh, product line, including stereos, um, Hong Kong H uh, GBC office, um, celebrities' home because they're sexy, so they will have sexy friends. Um, Maxis in Italy, Rome. Um, we do the main Taipei pavilions for the uh, International Design Expo. We do architecture project, and this one is actually currently being built. 40-story uh, tower in Chengdu is finished, uh, made from BIPV. Um, Singapore gym, solar factories, cemeteries, agriculture warehouses, all using trash materials, hotels, uh, power stations. Uh, this is a convention center in Malaysia. Uh, in Shanghai, this is actually going to finish in uh, April 26 in Shanghai at the Bun. Um, this is a new concrete building that we're building using this rice cement. And these are uh, education houses uh, that we donate to uh, 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 schools at the earthquake-prone region. So that's about it. Thank you very much.